Now in this video, you're gonna see a halo climb, which is one of the trippiest things you'll ever see scuba diving. I shot this video yesterday in a cenote. And a cenote is a, like a flooded cave and they're common here in the Yucatan Peninsula. And this cave is close to the ocean, less than a mile away. So what's happening is ocean water is going underground and filling up the groundwater with salt water. And that salt water is coming up into the cave. But at the same time, rainwater is falling down from the sky and it is filling up the top part of the cave with fresh water. So inside the cave, you have salt water on the bottom and fresh water on the top. And those things don't mix well because they're different densities. What do I mean they're different densities? Well, fresh water is water. Salt water is water plus something else, salt because there's salt in the salt water, it's more dense, there's more stuff in it than just fresh water alone. Make sense? Of course, because it's science. So the more dense salt water stays on the bottom, the lighter, less dense fresh water stays on the top. But there's a line right between them, and that's called the halo climb. And it's kind of a magical place. Because up in the fresh water, you can see just fine. And if you get down underneath it, into the salt water, you can see just fine. But right where those two things come together and they start mixing, everything starts to get blurry. It's kind of like you're looking through a frosted glass window. And so in this video, you're going to see I'm above the halo cline in the fresh water. I'm going to go down into the halo cline and everything will get blurry. And it'll almost look like the camera's out of focus. And then I'm going to come back up again so you can see what it looks like when you come out of the halo cline. Another thing that's really interesting is right there, it's not only a halo cline, it's also a thermal cline. So the salt water is warmer than the cold water above. There was, we recorded a seven degree difference between the cold water and the warm water right there where we went in. Now you know.